Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the owner of Egypt Each E Collection, and we're back with another video. Today's video is a DIY on how to make a cute pillowcase. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so y'all, I am so mad because I didn't record me putting the words down, but here's me creating a cute little word phrase. It's pasta, but for the P, it's pretty. For the A is a Maya. For the S is smile. And you're gonna see me put the words for the T and the A. Here's me trying to upsize so I can actually put the full words for the T and the A. So there go the word for the T and it is thoughtful. And then they're gonna be trying to push up for a little bit more placement so I'm trying to fit the whole word on there they're me going to do a marble so the T is thoughtful the A is a marble so I'm just placing it now I'm getting ready to heat press the T and the A and it's 15 seconds but I did the whole 30 Here's me heat pressing, just making sure it sticks down. So I'm just heat pressing it through. We got eight seconds, now seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And boom, taking it off. And it is a hot pill, but I did kind of have my hands hot because I did a I peeled it while it was hot. Look at it just coming so off so easily. Now I'm gonna peel the thoughtful off. But I did kind of had to go back and press down for thoughtful because the L was a little off the edge. Now you see me going back to press it down. Just the L. On both sides. Now I'm about to peel the thoughtful. It's just coming off like so. Now I have a whole word of pasta. to now figure out where I'm going to put the butterflies because I do have butterflies to make it look so pretty. So there we go placing the butterflies how I'm going to place them. I kind of didn't like how that was placed right there. So trying to figure out where to place the big ones. Because I did have big and small. So there go me putting the small one down. And me clicking the big ones. Trying to match where the big ones should go. So there we go. Placing the small one. I'm um, placing the three butterflies up top. Um, from right there, I was trying to figure out how to how I want to place the butterfly right there in between the words, or do I just want to place it somewhere else? And I figured out the middle looks fine to place it, so I place it in the middle, and I'm moving it a little over because, like I said, thoughtful and admirable are the longest words, so. I'm just trying to figure out. Now I'm about to press down the butterflies. And I'm going to do a full 30.
And I'm just letting it cool down because it is hot. So I'm fanning it so it can cool down. Look how smooth and peel is coming off. Just, just coming off like so. And I did a little technique so I peeled it back. So if I know anything is lifting up, I can go back and press it. So... It'll be fine. There got the other butterfly, and I think this is the butterfly that. Yep, it is. It's the butterfly that um the attendance was coming up. So I went back and. So yeah, so I went back and pressed it, pressed the butterfly that was coming up. So, now that I pressed it down, I made sure it was good and okay. Now I'm adjusting it so I can put the other butterflies on the pillowcase. So I'm doing placements right now at the top. As you're going to see me doing the placements. Um, I kind of have one more extra one, so I was trying to figure where to place that one at so you want to see me adjusting the placements of the butterflies at the top because here's a quick tip if you layer another rhino on top of another rhino and when you press it down both rhinos are going to get stuck together so just be careful so now I'm pressing down the top of the butterflies and also I'm repressing my work that I already have done so that it will stay in there and it can be like brand new. And this is all vinyl work so I'm just pressing for 30 seconds to make sure all the butterflies are pressed down. So you yeah. I did it for like 30 seconds and a half because I stopped at two, two seconds. And now I'm letting it cool off. I'm just letting everything cool off. I'm peeling the one that I didn't peel. I might have to go back over that one. So I'm peeling the top ones. They came out so pretty. This whole pillowcase came out pretty. Oh, in the last clip, y'all heard my son crying. I had to go tend to my son. But yeah, this whole this whole pillowcase came out so pretty. And I'm making sure that I didn't mess up a butterfly. I think I did, um, but it's okay because I want to repress it down. So that's me adjusting everything, getting everything ready to um, press back down. So I'm going back and repressing everything. I'm pressing the butterflies and all. I'm pressing everything except for thoughtful. So I'm pressing down pretty, admire, and smell. And the butterflies on there. And now I am moving around holding the heat press to press more to press the other half that is a hot heat press y'all so i'm just pressing and i'm holding it again so i can get every single thing i'm just repressing everything down so that it can stay sorry that the heat press is in the way so i'm just pressing and pressing Getting everything in the side corners because that was the hardest part. So now that I press everything down, I am showing y'all how it looks. That's how it looks. So pretty. And now I'm showing y'all how I did a trick. So that's the corner of the pillowcase. 
that I did. And there's still a whole side left for me to do. So, yeah. I'm just, I'm done. It came out so pretty. How I envision it. It's just so pretty, y'all. Bye.